Good morning. This is Agashvani Kohima. The morning news read by Jonas Yantan. Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman has demanded tangible action on climate funding and technology transfer ahead of COP28. She was speaking during a virtual session at the inaugural India Global Forum Middle East and Africa 2023 yesterday. Sitharaman expressed her concerns at the lack of progress in climate finance and technology transfer, saying a lot of talk but no money coming on the table and no pathways to show how technology is going to be transferred. Emphasizing the urgency for action, she added COP28 should show the direction both for the transfer of technology and for the actual funding. Addressing the challenges faced by developing and emerging market economies, Sidaraman highlighted the need for concrete outcomes at COP28. She insisted that conversations and discussions should translate into meaningful steps for climate action, particularly focusing on funding and technology transfer. The India Global Forum Middle East and Africa 2023, under the theme Unleashing Ambitions, provided a platform for discussions on trade, investment, innovation, technology and sustainability. Nagaland Pavilion has received a special appreciation medal on thematic presentation for excellence in display during the award ceremony held on the final day of the 42nd India International Trade Fair, IITF, held at Brakadia Maidan, New Delhi yesterday. Nagaland participated at the annual IITF with 25 entrepreneurs from the state showcasing the best of the state's handloom and handicrafts. Nagaland State Pavilion Director Kikum Tung and Assistant Pavilion Director Arun Inla received the award on behalf of the state. Various states were awarded in 12 categories by the India Trade Promotion Organization. Chief Minister of Manipur N. Biren Singh has appealed to all sections of the society to stand united to find a solution to the present situation in the state. He said this while attending the Golden Jubilee celebration of a local-based newspaper held at Imphal yesterday. Biren said that there will be forces trying to disintegrate the integrity of the state, but the people should stand unitedly. He said that when issue of national or state unity arises, all differences should be set aside and work unitedly to face it. The Chief Minister said that the government welcomes all constructive criticism, advice or suggestions from the public which aims to improve and develop the state. He said that the state government cannot allow any threat to the unity of the state or to disintegrate the 34 or so communities residing together in the state. Biren also appealed to the publishers of local newspapers to work for the welfare of journalists. Legendary Hollywood actor and film producer Michael Douglas has said that India is investing more money in the production of movies in the last few years under Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Union Minister for Information and Broadcasting Anurag Singh Thakur. The veteran American actor was interacting with media persons at the International Film Festival of India, IFFI, in Goa yesterday. He said that this is the best time for Indian cinema industry and the representation of more than 78 foreign countries in IFFI is the reflection of its strength. Michael Douglas will be bestowed with a prestigious Satyajit Ray Lifetime Achievement Award at the closing ceremony of IFFI today. Sharing his joy on the being honoured with the award, Douglas said it is a tremendous honour to receive this prestigious award. And in sports, Mizoram's team dominated the open categories for singles, doubles and mixed doubles as they secured all the top positions of the third Northeast India Academy of Performing Arts Northeast Open TT Championship, marking an impressive end to the tournament at the NIAPA Mini Stadium in Jimukedima last evening. Jeho Himna Kulping Heta, Mizoram's top seed, secured a convincing 4-0 victory over Assam player Agniv Pashka Gohain in the final match for men's category. In women's category, Mizo Cham Laltang Sangi Silo secured victory over 12-time Mekalaya Cham and two-time gold medalist Danul Sri Das Gupta in a 4-2 final match, while Laltang Sangi and Jeho emerged as champions by defeating Mekalaya Cham's 
Suranjit and Danusri in the final of the mixed doubles. The winners received cash prizes along with citation and trophy. Commissioner of Police Timapu gave it to the Sope, praised the event and gave away the prize awards to the winning teams. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day.